Hey, I hope everyone's well and safe and having a fantastic day. Today before the reading, I'm drinking ginger peach turmeric tea. And to pair with that, I have blackberries. The benefits of this ginger peach turmeric tea is that it has anti-inflammatory effects. It helps you to have a clear and focused brain and it helps to support young looking skin. All right, before I eat, let's pray. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, I thank you for this drink and food, for the health and nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. I thank you for my daily bread, and I ask that the Holy Spirit fill us with wisdom and understanding as we're refreshed by your word. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. We are on day 361 of Bible in one year, and I'm going to be reading Revelation chapter 8 all the way through to chapter 11. You guys, please hang out till after the reading. I will have a video for anyone to click on who would like to accept Jesus Christ in their heart as personal Lord and Savior. You guys can click on the video, repeat the prayer after me if you really want to make that decision for yourself. All right, let's dive right into this word from the King James Version. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 8, verse 1 through 13. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should pray, that he should offer it with prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded and fell, a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard a flying angel, an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. Revelation chapter 9, verse 1 through 21. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth had power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. 
And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women and teeth or as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand 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 and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jagged and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do not hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Revelation chapter 10, verse 1 through 11. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants, the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the earth and unto the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little angel's book out of the angel's hand, and I ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, 
and nations and tongues and kings. Revelation chapter 11, verse 1 through 19. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God and the altar, and them they worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth, there are two olive trees and two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. They have power to shut heaven, that in rain, not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the breast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead body shall lie in the street of this great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they are the people and kindreds and tongues and nation shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in the graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, and shall give gifts one to another, because their two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In that same hour there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, the kingdoms of the world are become our kingdoms of our Lord and of Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And thou hast shoulders, and thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in the temple the ark of the testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings, and an earthquake and great hail. Well, that concludes today's reading. Um, I would like to pinpoint Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, which says, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. This is saying the time is coming when every square inch of the planet will be illuminated by the glory of Christ's everlasting rule. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Well, if there's anything that you guys took away from the reading, please do share it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. If you'd like to make Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, please go do so right now. Click on this video right here, pray the prayer after me, and message me so that we can talk about the next steps you should take to grow in your faith and walk with the Lord. Remember to do five things for me. Hit the notification bell, share, comment, like, and subscribe to Time with Tiffany, where we enjoy reading and books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You will have a blessed day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.